I am submitting this report as my testimony because I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. And I want you to put, unite behind the science. And then I want you to take real action. If you're sailing across the ocean and you're picking up trash along the way, and for every one piece of trash that you pick up, there's a boat right next to you dumping out five pieces. How would that make you feel? Um, first of all, we were going so fast, there wasn't enough <laughs> to pick up any trash. All right, well, if you were a slow sailor like me, <laughs> how would that make you feel? Well, first of all, if you use that logic, then I am also dumping a lot of trash in the ocean. And uh, then I would, I would stop dumping my trash in the ocean and tell the other boat to stop dumping their trash in the ocean as well. And, 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 and that's, that's the important point here. I, I think that what we need to be doing is we need to be focusing on the countries that are dumping trash in the ocean. Of course, that's a metaphor. When your children ask you, did you do absolutely everything in your power to stop the climate crisis when the storms are getting worse and we're seeing all the effects of the climate crisis? When they ask you, did you do everything? Can you really look them in the eye and say, no, sorry, I couldn't do anything because that country over there didn't do anything. So if they're not going to do it, then I'm not. That is shameful and that is cowardly. And there is no excuse to not take action, to not improve how, as much as we can in the United States. Another perspective, I am from Sweden, it's a small country, and there it is the same argument. Why should we do anything, just look at the US, they say. So, uh, just so you know, that's, that is being used against you as well. Yeah. <laughs>